Let's take a minute to consider a puzzle from the theory of meaning. So consider an object that has two names, um, like Venus, the planet, which goes by the traditional names Phosphorus and Hesperus, or Morning Star and Evening Star. We can make two statements about Phosphorus and Hesperus. We could say Phosphorus is Phosphorus. Nobody would uh, bat an eye at that. But the claim that Hesperus is Phosphorus, that is to say that the two names refer to the same thing, is not only genuinely informative, it's the kind of thing that constitutes a legitimate discovery. Well, it's considerations like these that prompted Gottlieb Frege's study Übersinn und Bedeutung, or On Sense and Reference. So the reference of Hesperus and Phosphorus are the same thing, the planet Venus, but their sense is different. And sense seems to come down to the mode of presentation of the object in question. We see phosphorus in the morning and hesperus in the evening, and so we're presented them in different ways. And it's for this reason that we can very well fail to know that they refer to the same thing. So over and above the reference of a term, that is to say, what it picks out, there's something like a sense. Well, it turns out that the notion of sense, as well as the notion of reference, is a very tricky and interesting one. And since the publication of Frege's paper, it's received a lot of attention in philosophy of language, philosophy of mathematics, and that kind of thing. In fact, some years back, I took a graduate seminar which was dedicated to just this distinction and ran a full semester. And it was a very interesting time, I can tell you. Such then are the intricacies of modern analytical philosophy um, and such are the joys of grad school.